All right, welcome back. It's time for more Catherine, and we're doing a nightmare stage this time. Gameplay. Uh, <laughs> Gameplay, yes. <laughs> there first... you are, Ryan. Where the hell have you been? But first, we need to show a cutscene of Vincent getting even more drunk than he was when he left the bar. I should mention that, no, Vincent does not drive back to his apartment. There's a lot more pedestrian traffic in Japan, and if you can't afford something bigger than this for a living space, you probably don't have a car, either. So, yeah. Japanese 101. What is traffic like there? Vehicle um, traffic. I'm not really sure... I, um, I don't know how their car traffic is, but I know that the subway station, the subway stops and stuff like that are always sort of train Trains are a lot bigger in Japan than they are here. Uh, and you know all those, 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 those uh, creepy hentai about train gropings and stuff? That is actually a real problem in Japan. So you should feel bad if you enjoy those. Stop that. <laughs> Put your dick away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> stage three is the torture chamber. It introduces a new block type. Pretty much every stage in this game introduces a new block type to mix things up. This one is basically just spike blocks, which you, which are really not a problem unless you stop on them or land on them from a, from a drop that's two blocks or higher up, which will instantly kill you. So don't do that. Um, so you, if, you, can, you can touch them. Just you can you can run run over them or get on them and quickly hang over the edge. Just so long as you don't stop or drop on them, you're fine. But yeah, they spike and then the spikes break and they become normal blocks. If the spikes kill you, you explode in a, a magnificent no more heroes worthy spray of blood. No <laughs> coins or dollar bills. So you now. could you could literally just run on top of it, then run back and just disable it really quickly. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. In fact, I'm I'm a bit OCD about disabling spike blocks. Sometimes I'll do it even if even if I don't need to uh, move over that space. Oh my god! 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 Poor sheep. Eh. We're all sheep tech. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. oh yeah, did, oh my god, did, did oh my we god. talk oh. about this when we were discussing symbolism? <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, during this stage, they just throw out random sheep that are that are, that are are sitting in background blocks that are just running back and forth. They're not actually background objects. They're the same thing as, as, as the enemies that, that would get in your way during a stage. But they exist for no other purpose than to look disturbing in the background. Like this guy. Well, no, they're, 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 that's also sort of a tutorial section, too. They're there to teach you that, oh my god, landing on spikes is bad. Or yeah, that just you in can... case you didn't listen when the tutorial guy <laughs> flat out told you. Well, that's oh, good. yes. Also, they can steal your fucking coins. Oh, those... That, oh. Douchebag. <laughs> oh, so he took your imaginary money and that justifies murder in your uh, minds. Okay, then. Yeah, so, you need to be so taught a lesson. Know. So you know, the remove item block also lightning smashes the uh, lightning blasts the ordinary sheep because they count as enemies. So if you're playing a pointlessly moral run where you don't want to do that, then uh, I don't know why I bothered with that because that was pointless. This is me being really, really chicken shit about the. <laughs> you know what? Oh, what happened? Oh, come on! What did you do? You were right there. No, I, 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 my com my step combo uh, reset, so I, I hit the undo button, and then really quickly just redid the whole the, the last section so that I would keep. Because you lost bonus. points. Yeah, the the point bonus. Like I said, at this point I was still trying to make a straight gold run through of the game, so oh, I, uh, uh, I abused the undo button to to get my uh, step combo. Oh, you, back. you see, I would think that doing a gold run will require you not undoing anything. <laughs> well, yeah, they didn't exactly program the uh, undo bo button to uh, to not do that. Okay. So they it, give like, you a little leeway. They give you a little leeway, but just in normal and easy mode, which is good because you need the gold prizes in normal mode to unlock all the battle stages. Um, the uh, hard mode has no undo button, so if you want to get the trophy for getting all gold in that, or the achievement rather, you're going to have to just you're going to have to just get good. Is that good spell with a uh, G U D? Yes. All right, Get good. good. All right. uh, that kind of good. Okay. <laughs> yes, that kind of good. <laughs> Nobody cares. Look at that You're fucking a sheep. mascot you're wearing. Fred would be uh, disappointed in you. 
<laughs> yeah, but he's that rich kid who's wearing the slick shades and the and the the, the, the blonde hair, um, like smoothly uh, brushed to the side. And another thing is, Japanese people don't usually have naturally blonde hair. If you see like a, bl a blonde character in Japan, they're either foreign or they've dyed it. Well, yeah, that's a that's usually a big uh, tell to see whether someone's supposed to be like Western in anime is whether they have blonde hair or blue. blonde hair, blue eyes, really big boobs if they're female. Yeah, that's the that's the trope. I think in Japan, blonde hair is actually uh, ha has some delinquent connotations too. Um, yes, it does, because uh, basically. In order to look cooler slash more western, a lot of delinquents would dye their hair in the 70s and 80s and stuff. To look more western in a country that yeah. dislikes foreigners. Well, that's yeah, why they, that, that's why it's a dis, that's why it's a, given that's why it's a delinquent, delinquent thing. Uh, yeah. Reputation. They were re rebels. Like don't don't even get me started on tattoos. Those are those were originally Yakuza thing they, over there. They still kind of are. <laughs> they, they still kind of are to the point where where like public baths have no tattoo signs on them. It, not, a, not small, them a, a small a small one is okay. Just not like full body ones. Yeah. Well, like, full body the, tattoos like, tend to be. Uh, there's a lot of gang related stuff to tattoos in the U.S. as well too. Yeah. It's yeah, just there's... it's more common to see a dude with a tattoo over here just like normally though they don't yeah. always have to mean anything. Indeed. Yeah, I just so what if what if I just what if I just want a monkey hanging on my nipples because I fucking felt like it. Well, sorry, John, you're a delinquent and you're a bad influence to the children. So. It, it's like it, it's like in Japan, if you have a tattoo, you're going to be locked out of, like a visible tattoo. Even you're going to be locked out of a lot of jobs where you have to interact with people because uh, you know they don't want people with tattoos scaring away people. So, uh, I can have all 100, so I can have all 700 in <laughs> Pokemon tattooed on my body, but as long as it's not on my face or my hands and I wear a turtleneck every day, then it's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's why a lot of people just get tattoos on their ass or something where nobody can see it. And that, that's defeating most of the point of getting a tattoo in the first place, but god my, damn it, I wanted a tattoo. If you're getting a tattoo, you're getting it to show off. That's what it is. Reminds yeah. me of an Omaki from Full Metal Alchemist manga. <laughs> hmm. I think it was a it was a it was a bathhouse. He says, "Sorry, no people with tattoos out and Scar just scared stares at it angrily." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In any event, what we're seeing now is yet another question. But every time these questions happen, you're going to get more dialogue with Astaroth, who doesn't actually say his name is Astaroth until the final stage. But um, well, yeah. Question three. What was question three again? Oh. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a pervert? What Be is honest, the capital no. of Assyria? <laughs> <laughs> no, you I did Every bit okay, if there's anybody who said uh, no, I'm not a pervert, they're just fucking lying. They're lying. Well no 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 no, no no the question wasn't are you a pervert, it's do you consider yourself one? No one has ever served. That okay, is, well, that is everybody an should important... everybody is a pervert, so there's no use in trying to deny no, it. <laughs> that's that's an important distinction because it, it it says something about how you view your own, you know, mental goings on. Like are you consciously trying not to be perverted? Do you consider yourself? not perverted or are you just mentally open to that kind of stuff and don't care it's it's a it it, it has to do with where you, whether you're more order or chaos minded than yeah i mean when you see a giant loaf of bread do you immediately see a giant loaf of bread or a dick joke well, there are dick jokes been... about loaves of bread what there's dick, dick jokes about anything if you try hard enough yeah if it's long and phallic uh, do, you, okay. do you immediately think if it is food or a, a no? Joke? Use, okay, yeah, that that no use denying it. Pie graph should be an awful lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the there, there aren't that many questions where the chaos answer gets more answers than than the order answer. Uh, that was one of the ones. Uh, the dark block tutorial that's popping up on screen right now. The easy way to tell is whether or not the dark block is just a flat black block or a block with a design on it, with a, with a face, like that one behind Vincent right there. You can't move those, you can move the flat black ones, though. So, so any, they... any black block with a symbol on it cannot be moved? Yes. Uh, if, you need, if you want to move those blocks, you need the item that changes all blocks on screen into normal blocks. 
I don't know why I bothered moving a block just there. The, uh, the, the, the gold trophy, is that just points? I think that was uh, an item for some. That, that, that's, that's the bell that turns uh, blocks into normal blocks. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. There you go, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can tell that these, that these sheep here are the ones that haven't gotten their drunk on because they're all moving really <laughs> slow. Well, sucks for him. I could have gotten past that a lot faster if I had just used my item, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a cheap bastard when it comes to items. Well, it pays to be stingy in games, so... Yeah, it's a yeah. Few sheep for himself. We established this. I, I noticed a little bit of slowdown there. Does this game run as smoothly most of the time? Most of the time, yeah. When, when you have a lot of activity going on, it can slow down a little bit, but not... Uh, well, in a game like this, that's actually helpful, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> and this is a two- this is a two-tower path, so if I want to- it, 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 like, you're gonna get different items on different sides. And there's Whoops. no, like, jump- there's no jump feature, or anything like that. You can't, like, try to go over to the other side. You, you uh, can, but it involves it involves pushing blocks over, hanging off them, and dropping. Okay, so I you can do, just hop over to the I, other I, side. I'm going to do that here, because of the allure of all that gold, man. <laughs> 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 also, I'm not actually sure how to get up to the, to the, to the, to the, uh... That was me abusing the undo again. Um, I'm not actually sure how to, uh, how to, ab how to get up there without, um... Ah, uh, right. Without switching sides. Whenever you hit the undo button, all the spikes just spontaneously respawn and shatter. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that, can be, that make it jumpy. <laughs> How many undos can you undo? Um, you can undo ten spaces back from where you currently are. What is the retry in the top right? The, the retry is your lives. Oh, okay. Now, I think I'm going to die here. No, or not. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm thinking of a later stage. Okay, safe. But you're still I... in your underwear. <laughs> yeah, the final boss taunts you about that. Oh, well, that's just because he took a hit all the way back at the beginning of the game and he lost his armor. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually getting Ghost of the Goblins vines from the, 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 the map. You see Vincent running in his underwear to the next part of the tower. Yeah. He's, he's even mimicking the, the sort of run cycle that Arthur usually yeah. does. Yeah, hey, that might have been you know, intentional. Uh, the, the sprite style they use over there is almost Mortal Kombat, really. Alright, time for more between-stage downtime. Now, the, the, the sheep that you see way in the background with the twisted long horns, uh, you, you see progressively more warped-out um, sheep as you go. And the thing there is that they're, um, they're the sheep who started killing people, like on purpose, and they started going insane, and then they, they started doing it on, they started just, just wanting to kill people. Uh, so what, so their appearance outwards becomes more warped? Yeah. Uh, uh like, uh, you start getting sheep that will, act, that will just, the, 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 um, the regular sheep just run around aimlessly blocking your path. The sheep with horns will actively push you. Then there are these red spiked, sh spike furred sheep that have axes that will actually actively try to kill you. And if they hit you, you instantly explode as if you stood on a spike block. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, that's later on, though. So is that a nightcap or is he Santa Claus? Tutorial sheep is in a nightcap with a pillow and pink socks. I'm not, I'm not sure if that particular sheep appears in anything but the tutorials, but I think it might be a beta version of Vincent. I'm not really sure, though. So wait, there was a time where Catherine's main character was exactly just a sheep in a nightcap? Not sure. Uh, he <laughs> might They might have just wanted him to appear as a sheep in the dream, but then decided to make him human to, you know, for symbolism reasons. I'm not sure. I, I don't know very much about Catherine's development cycle beyond it just being a test game for next-gen systems. 
Well, obviously Vincent wanted to deliver presents to all the good boys and girls, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Except this one, in his spread eagle pose. Yeah, you know you want it. <laughs> Why are you laying in front of me in missionary? I don't want to do a sheep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not that sort of guy. Have to excuse me, I have to go into my rocket confessional. Alright, and I think the only thing I'm going to talk to is this one. Just to show off him going crazy. Now, look, they even spell out his life more. His laugh is more ha ha. Foo 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 foo. Hey, get a grip. We got you're never going to make it out of here. Maybe he doesn't want to leave. Hmm. Okay, time to save, and then uh, I think. I think I didn't. I think I forgot to slip in a, a, a Vegas transition there. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned the blast off. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you you're going to hell. I thought hell was down. <laughs> nope, it's opposite day. <laughs> you see, it's symbolic because you go into the confessional and you talk to a demon, but normally in a confessional you talk to a priest. Which means that the church is evil, because that's like Atlas's favorite message of all time. Ah, uh, well, these are these are Christian-style confessionals, but instead of crucifixes, they have this sort of ankh, female, male symbol. Like there's a Jesus nailed to one in the background there. So that's how you think. What was what was the question? I kind of looked away. Uh, are I men answered. stupid? Oh. Well, of course I'm not going to answer that as a yes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know how that factors into law chaos. Um. Ham or turkey? Uh, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, is this the boss stage, or... Like, how far are we into this stage? Oh, oh we've yeah, only got one the... more staircase. This is the boss stage. That means we're going to be running away from a carnivorous vagina now. That is the Arthur running animation, pretty much. They might actually have done that on purpose, now that I think about it. Use the terrain to your advantage. Well, it's the most famous game involving people running around in their underwear. <laughs> hmm. Maximo one is good. Every and it's on uh, PSN, by the way. So anyone who's watching this has a PS3, buy that. Just do it. You'll thank me. Uh, unless you dislike difficult platformers, I guess. But yeah, Ooh. carnivorous vagina. This practically hey. writes itself as a Soviet Russia joke. <laughs> <laughs> yep, At this is an Atlas game, all right. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the this immoral... is tame considering some of the. Uh, just look up some of the the Shimagami Tensei like one and two monster designs if you really want to see them go balls out insane. And they, they'll 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 Atlas will like intentionally stuff uh, dicks and vaginas into designs for no other reason than to just have them there. Like Cthulhu a has a penis for a tongue for no good reason. Why? Uh. Like uh. It's like it's like they're trying to see what they can get away with as far as it's not actually a vagina, so we can have this. Because uh, you know, in um in Japan, you're not actually allowed to show genitalia. Like no, I thought the even... rules against pubic hair. It pubic hair uh and genitalia. No, it it depends. It it, it depends on what you're doing, uh, obviously, yeah. and where you are. Uh. But so what? What'll usually wind up happening is that they have an uncensored version, which they censor for distribution in Japan, and, and then only use if they're, you know, mark if if they're having it, you know, done somewhere foreign. Well, that's why they use. Uh, that's why ten super tentacle hentai porn became a thing because you don't have the censor tentacles because they're not dicks. Yeah. Yeah. That was where I died. That was what I was thinking about. What the fuck is Ibihara? That's uh, the, that's the uh, Persona 4 character for whom that 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 music was used for um, a ringtone. Do they have a different like uh, thing there every single time, or like a no, different? Like I know it says "Love is over every time you die," but do they have a different quote on the bottom? No, that was me working oh. video editing stuff. Oh! 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 Well, that was a that was an that was an Atlas in joke. 
Oh. That was that was an obvious video editor font. Come on. I wasn't sure. It looked it, it meshed with the game's font pretty well. That's because I colored it red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vagina Dentata. I, I think I really ought to be congratulated for avoiding that. You don't get killed if these things hit you, no. Your direction reverses. And you run oh. around in reverse directions. Yes, it's Interface one of those screw. levels. Oh, I hate that, that stuff in games. <laughs> if it pisses you off, it means it's doing its job. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure how long it lasts, either. All I know is that every single fucking time it's happened to me, I've died. Okay, so money gotta get the or my coin. life. Gotta get the last coin. Yes, I got the last coin. I am awesome. You're going, Lewis. You're gonna get. You're gonna get run over by a truck picking up a nickel on the sidewalk someday. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but at but least I'm you got the a, nickel. I'm gonna have a big satisfied smile on my face when I go. Yeah, you can at least pay the, the, the Grim Reaper on the river sticks. Oh, sorry. He upgraded to. He upgraded its dimes now. Damn. Or play coins. You could always just use play coins. It's not like you're gonna be using those on anything else. And nobody else got my Shimigami Tensei 4 reference. No, I got what you were saying. I just don't care because I don't play Shimigami Tensei 4. So, am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> saying I like dudes. <laughs> ah, well. That was the stage, it's over, and I've got the gold prize. Go me. Do they multiply your score by two uh, when you play it on hard? Uh, no, actually, the, 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 the um, safety bonus is higher on easy. It's 1.5 on normal, and it's just times one on hard, which makes you wonder why the bo why they bother putting it there. <laughs> times one. <laughs> well, you see, that's, that, that seems all rather backwards to me, because I figured that playing on the harder difficulties would be the only way that you could... What the fuck just happened to Vincent's eyes? Um... Oh, well, the sheep. If you look closely at the sheep, they all have red eyes with weird shapes in them. Yeah, that's the third so, time that's happened this this game. Yeah. yeah. So when he wakes up from the nightmare, he has sheep eyes for a second. Oh. Yeah. Well, I lost what uh, I lost what I was going to say about whatever, so... Okay. Never mind. God damn it, why are you here again? Oh, do you want to want me to explain the birds and the bees to you, Vincent? Oh. Oh. Also, um, are those Vincent's boxer shorts on hangers in the background there? I think yeah, yeah, they he are. Has, he has <laughs> boxers on hangers. What is this guy? I, I bet though? you they're iron press too. <laughs> Man, he really likes his underwear. Well, actually, I think that's mainly because he doesn't uh, have a closet in here. Because I, I sure as hell haven't seen a closet, so he has all his clothes on a hanger at the side. It's meant to show what a shit apartment he lives in. I mean, it's it's two rooms, a bathroom and a combination bath, uh, combination bedroom kitchen. This is my dream home, man. I could have my kitchen, my bed, and my video game machines all in the same two-foot space. Okay. So is there any particular reason why she's just deciding to mind screw with him? Um, it's her job. Oh. Yeah, she's she, she literally. This is her job. She she mind screws people. Well, that's not very nice. Maybe she should go into a more construct constructive. It's the employment. best game of Connect Four I've ever seen. What did I do last night? Why me? Ah, here we go. What about you, Vincent? Now. What do you think about me? Um, I, I'd just like to point out, you know, Vincent's awkwardness levels in these cut types of cutscenes far surpass even the most anime of virgins. And it's kind of, it's kind of, on the, on the one, on one, on the one hand, it's encouraging to watch because I'm pretty sure I'll at least, I'll at least be better at this than he is if it ever happens. On the other hand, it's just kind of uncomfortable. Like... Like that. Uh, that well, he looks like he's about to have a heart attack when he has a face like that. You 
know, I, I think it was Yahtzee who brought this up, but one thing, it, you can never just mm-hmm. say, you know, I have a girlfriend, leave me alone, to Catherine. You know, even if yeah. you're, even if you're, like, uh, choosing all of the order uh, dialogue options, you can't ever just say, leave me the fuck alone to her. Well, because then we would ha- we wouldn't have a game. Yeah, there wouldn't be well, a game uh, it's just, it's, uh, yeah, but it's true, but, you know, it's just one of those things where it's just, like, it, it limits your ability to. It's like in a game where you're t- where you're supposed to have some control over Vincent's morality. Not being able to do the obvious good thing makes it really unbelievable when you turn out to have like full yeah. w- order karma. It's selective morality and logic. Yeah. The idea of Vincent is supposed to be that he's that he's, that he's kind of in a fickle undecided mindset the whole time but it's one of those things that that doesn't translate into a game where you have choice that new drink a lot yeah <laughs> he does actually say i'm dating someone right now but Catherine runs out of the apartment just as he's <laughs> it's saying. called jack daniels <laughs> glug 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 come here you son of a bitch 